What's up, guys? Well, I got started uh, doing the shift kit on this thing. My GoPro was dead, but all I've done so far is jack up the car, which takes a while because it's lowered, so that's a process. And I've taken off the old pan. So right now I'm going to take off the valve body. Let's take a look. So I need to take off the filter and then uh, the valve body. And we'll read some instructions and see what else after that. I'm hoping I can get this done before dark. That's in like probably 45 minutes. I probably won't get it done, but I will at least be very far along the way. All right, guys. Well, I will turn this back on after I get some work done. All right, guys, I'll bring you under here with me. I got the filter out so you can see a little bit more now. Excuse me while I crawl under here. Okay. Oh man, it's still a tight fit for me. All right, well, hopefully you can see and hopefully nothing gets on the camera, but I'm taking off all of these bolts right now. So I gotta watch out for this, because that can fall out. I wish I had a little magnetic bowl right now to put all of these things in, but it is. It looks pretty good in here. There's one. And that goes there like that. Okay. Those are gonna be smaller. Awesome. Oh, yeah, we're gonna need to take that off. Okay, we'll get to it. That's also smaller, cool. Sorry about that, guys. Hope you're getting a good view. Sorry if you're not. <laughs> Don't need to mess with that. Feels like there might be one there. No. Nope. I don't think so. Okay, now I need my half inch. Oh, it's a tight fit. I think this is it. Oh, that's a 9 16. So, this was the half inch. This is smaller than that. Uh, Alright, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. This kind of sucks, guys, laying on the ground like this. I'm not gonna lie. Ooh, that one made a big mess. Man, I hope these aren't like specific bolts because I am not paying attention. No, they're not. Okay. Dodged a bullet on that one. Alright, so I think I just need to do this one right here and then we can take the valve body off. And of course that's a different size, but luckily I brought this half inch. Ah, sweet. That's it. We got a break. I'm just making a mess on the ground here, guys. Awesome. Okay. There we 
go. Yeah, this is starting to want to fall down. And it's also making a huge mess. Oh, we are making a big mess. Like, even too big of a mess for me. I usually don't care about messes. I think I'm going to need to kind of pull it down and forward. Alright. Man, this is so messy. There goes a check ball. Sick. <laughs> that was sarcasm. We just need three of them, luckily. Well, this uh, gasket was definitely due to be replaced. It is very brittle. These are just not wanting to come out. There we go. Okay. I bent them a little bit to get them out, but I think it's fine. And now, of course, they're just wanting to come right out of the case. Put it in the pan. Now, take this off. Yeah, I'm glad we're doing this anyway. These gaskets have seen better days but that also tells me this entire transmission is like this but that's a, it's okay we'll just deal with it okay so we got our mess here we are going to need this valve body right now let's make sure it's empty all right guys well i think i'm gonna call it there um I'm going to let this uh, really dry out overnight and uh, get back on it tomorrow. I'm going to clean up my mess right now. And I'm losing light and I can't really see what I'm doing in the shop either. So I'll turn this back on tomorrow. All right, guys, what's well, the next day? And I've been letting that drip dry overnight. So hopefully it'll be less messy. There's something that we need to do to this guy. I'm not sure exactly what but I'm gonna check that out and I'll turn this on once I got it set up so this gasket is being such a nightmare and it's like this on the underside of the transmission too so that should be fun um, so you just compress this down it's gonna be kind of up like up to here and you have to like push it down and then I use this clamp to hold it, it said to use a vise but I, did, I didn't want to do that and you'll get that to where you can clear this little e-clip and then you take out this uh, spring that's in there and then you just put it back together so now I need to finish uh, scraping this up um, then I need to drill a couple of holes in here scrape up the gasket in there and then I'm ready to put it back together but this is taking quite a while so I'm not sure how long it'll take anyway just wanted to update you guys well guys, so what I discovered is that this accumulator is plastic and this is only like a few year kind of deal. If this breaks, which it, it will eventually, it will uh, cause you to not have a reverse. And whenever you see that you have one of these, you're supposed to throw it away and get an aluminum one. So that's what I did. This thing came with two types of seals. I'm going to use the one that's already kind of on it. And it was $10 on eBay. I didn't think it was going to get here for another few days. So I was a little bummed because I'm like right in the middle of this and I want to drive it. So I was a little bored. And uh, I'm glad this just showed up because I'm going to do this and slap my transmission back together. There were some other um, modifications I was going to consider doing since I was going to have time. While I was waiting for this part. 
and uh, I'm not going to do them now. Uh, I'm just going to put this kit in so I can drive it. Anyway, so I'm going to get this going and I'll turn this back on when I have something going on. So I said I wasn't going to uh, do this other modification, but I lied. I'm going to. It looks really simple. I see exactly what I need to do looking at a few videos. I'm going to need to um, drill this out a bit. Uh, I'll have to look online to see what size. And then you just hammer in one of the check balls, because I'm not using all of them. And that will seal that off. And all I did was take, there's a pin like this one right here. All I did was get some needle nose and kind of like, you know, push it up. And now I need to get these two guys out. Let me see if I can set this up and show you what I'm doing. Okay, guys, well, I am about to get this guy out of here. I don't even know the proper name. I'll probably flash it on the screen right here on uh, what this stuff is called, but I'll show you how I was able to do it. So on the back side of it, there is this little hole that will later be filled. So if this has already been done, I don't know how the hell I get it out of there. But I kind of use this guy to nudge it out and... Uh, I kind of like hammered and chiseled on the edge there, you can see, to get it to rotate. <clears throat> and then there's a little grooves. You're not going to be able to see it very well. There's a little grooves on this guy to kind of pry it out. So I'm about to pull this thing out and I'll show you what it looks like when I get it out of there. Okay, so this is what was in there. It sat in there like this. And uh, this actually is what we're going to be modifying. Um, I need to go look it up and make sure but I'm just gonna shave like on the bench grinder over here I'm gonna flatten one side flatten the other side uh, till it hits that center part and so I have two flat sides reinstall it we're gonna then drill out well before I reinstall it I'm gonna drill out this hole you can see it that hole and then hammer in a uh, check ball to block that packet passage and what that's going to allow us to do is uh, hold first gear is, and downshift in the first gear no matter the RPM. So that's what we are doing. So I'm going to look that up. Um, confirm that this is what I shaved down, which I know it is, but I want to confirm it. And figure out what size drill bit I need to hammer in that check ball. So I was wrong, the part that I'm grinding is actually uh, going to be this part here, they call it the land or the valve. So I'm going to grind this um, flat on two sides and I'm going to actually go a little bit into this second little circle on both sides. Also the drill bit size that you need to drill out this exhaust hole is a 732nds. I got that here. So I'm going to get going doing that. All right, no turning back now. Now we're supposed to just bang in a little. More is better, so we're gonna go ahead and use a demolition hammer. We'll start with a little tappy and see what that does. That sucker is in there, dude. <laughs> Looks crazy. You give it a good smack just for good measure. All right, well that mod's done. I just want to give it some more smacks. I just would like it in there more. Okay, see if I can set you guys up to watch me ruin this, uh, I mean, modify this valve over here.
I get it square on, but it's going to accomplish what it needs to accomplish. So ideally you'd want it to be exactly on the other side of this, but you know, whatever. I also caught this area just slightly on both sides, but that shouldn't matter. It's a, it's a large surface area here. So now I'm going to grab a file and just deburn this real quick. Oh, it's dark guys. Hold on, let me fix that for you. There's a light right here. Now it's going to be like super bright. Man, I got a mess going since I put that motor in here. But I just want to work. I don't want to clean up. I just want to work. There we go, that should be more than enough light for you guys to see. Alright, so here's what I was talking about. It's supposed to have been like... I may even hit that again right here. In fact, I'm going to. I'm going to try to knock this down a little bit. Alright, so I just tried to make it a little more... You know. So here's what we did with our ball. That sucker's in there, man. Looks good. I'm gonna see if I have some brake cleaner somewhere. What this is? Starter fluid. Don't want to waste that. Man, this is such a mess. Such a mess. I can't stand it, but I want to get this thing running. One day, I'll be motivated to clean up. Okay. So, let me get some brake cleaner or something. Now I got a Walmart brake parts cleaner. I'm going to be sure not to wear gloves. Just get her on there. Looks like my clip came off too. From over here. I don't think this clip's gonna be good anymore. I need to give it a little squeeze. Should probably just get a new one. I may even have some. Okay, gave that a little squeeze a rooney. There we go. All right, that's that dog there will hunt. That's on there this time. Okay. So this seems to be in good working order. I'm gonna go ahead and file off the stuff I did earlier. Just trying to take down any sharp edges. You can see where I was prying earlier. Just trying to smooth that out. Alright. Now we're going to deburr our edges here. That was grinding. I'm going to go ahead and fill this area with WD-40. Trying to see in there that ball. Yeah, it 
looks clean in there to me. All right, so this guy, I don't think it really matters how it goes in. Put that guy in there like that. This guy will go in like this. So it can go like go in one way. So it goes in like this. Okay. It needs to rotate over just slightly so I can put my pin in. This is a spring that I took out of here. It's now trash. Here's my pin. It's got a little tapered in. I'm gonna put that tapered in first. I'm just gonna apply a little bit of pressure. It's in. Valve body is now ready to be installed, guys. So at this point, that's about all I can do. Uh, so that's gonna be it for today. And I will turn this back on tomorrow. I need to uh, install this, but I need to get some Vaseline to get the check balls to uh, stay in place while I install it. All right, guys. Well, I'll see you tomorrow. Hey, guys. So I got my uh, oil drain. I haven't changed it since I did the break-in. I've got this uh, Valvoline VR1 racing oil, 10W30. It's got high zinc. Great for push rod and flat tap and engine. So I don't need to add any zinc to this. I think I have a man, I'm pretty sure that's an eight quart oil can. Might be seven, I'm not sure. So we'll see how much it takes. I'm not gonna replace the uh, oil filter. I know I should, but I'm not going to. That oil that came out of there looked awesome. Here we go. nice honey color uh, you may be wondering why I'm using such awesome oil well I got this whole case for like I don't even remember how much oil seven dollars something crazy like that they basically messed up on Amazon I ended up getting two cases I bought like 15 but they only honored one from each order just fine It's for extreme anti-wear protection. Racing oil, that's how you know we're serious. This is going to be like at least plus 69 horsepower. Plus or minus 33. did see it looked like it was leaking a little bit from the front oil pan seal so uh, as vice grip, vice grip garage would say we're gonna go ahead and do the right thing and uh, totally ignore it it's not leaking that bad and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna fix that
I'm gonna go ahead and check the old dipstick there and see where we're at. I've got another box of this. I think we're gonna need two more quarts. That was six. So make sure you guys can see what I'm doing down here. Oh heck. Heckin'. My uh my tripod's broken, so I'm doing my best here. I like to come off. I need to clean it off, but it looks like it's at it's definitely at add. So I think it's gonna need at least one more quart. So we got full all the way over here, we're down here. But it is registering it is. I bet it needs two more. Stab her one more time just to make sure. And the oil filter is full because I'm not replacing it, so we don't need to worry about that. It's hard to see, but it's right there. Same spot it was at. So I'll be right back with some more oil. Here's a part number if you guys care about it. 822388. Let's do one and we'll check it again. Although I'm pretty positive it's going to take two more. I've been wrong before though. American owned and operated. Hell yeah, brother. This here thing runs off Freedom Bald Eagles. Bald Eagle Tears. Alright, where are we at? We are at right there at the ad line. So let's do one more. That will make us eight quart. We indeed have an eight quart oil pan. All right, well that was eight quarts. Just wanted to show you guys real quick. Uh, I'm not sure how well my exhaust plan is gonna work. As you can see, I was trying to oval it. Well, doing so has distorted this flange it may still seal although I highly doubt it I'm gonna try to uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do guys we'll see we'll just see maybe I can kind of hammer it flatter and then the gasket will seal it up I can goop it up I don't know we'll figure it out but anyways just thought I'd give you a quick little update on that guy um, I need to get some um, Vaseline or some kind of grease that will melt as I'm doing the, the valve body for the uh, transmission. But I think that's going to do it for now. Let's get under there and see if it is leaking real quick. The first time that I filled this up, I didn't put on the plastic washer. And this time I did. This drop was from before. It's not leaking. It was definitely leaking the last time. The first, I guess the first time I put it on it, it was steady dripping. And I really had to sink that dude in there. But it looks fine to me. See, there's some evidence of leaking oil, but whatever. It's really not bad. And there's, as you can see, there's no active oil spot here. I just changed the oil. Transmission. This actually cleaned up a lot better, easier, I should say, than uh, the valve body. So I need to get some Vaseline to shove up in the little port and put the, uh, to hold my check balls in place. So I'll probably do that tomorrow. Um, 
yeah, that's where we're at on this. So I'll turn this off and I'll turn it back on when I have something going on. Hey guys, well, I need Vaseline to finish putting this uh, shift kit in, in here in the old turd. And uh, me and dude here are headed to the old Dollar Tree to pick some Vaseline up. Uh, I don't have any or anything that will work. And we should be able to put it together after that. Anything you want to add? We're going to the dollar store, dude. Yeah. I told him he could pick something up. All right, well, I'll cut this on here in a little bit. Hey guys, we only have about two minutes left on my SD card. Um, I got the transmission back together. It's been sitting overnight. I don't see any leaks on the ground, which is awesome. Um, I did take it around the block about three times. It shifted through all the gears. Um, I need to still take it for a good test drive. I wanted to check all the fluids again since I changed the oil and did the shift kit in it. But it did shift through all the gears. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. The next video we will test on her some more and check on the old fluids. Uh, I've been working on this guy for probably, man, it's been about a week doing all this. I just wanted to make sure I took my time and did a good job. I didn't get to film as much as I wanted to, but it is done. So until next time, I appreciate you guys watching. Thanks for the comments. If you're new to the channel and you like what you see, please subscribe. It helps me out a lot. All right, guys, I'll see you next time.